This is your News Now Sports. This week's final Hoops Friday night of the season will feature district championship games in Division 4 from both Wapakoneta and Elida. Tonight, those matchups are set with district semifinal play. There's an all Allen County showdown in Auglaize County tonight. Perry and Spencerville square off in Wapak. Opening frame, Evan Osting buries a three ball. The Bearcats take an early seven point lead. Then Dylan Smith shakes a man for the layup. A game high 20 for the junior. Spencerville's up 22 14 after one. Second quarter, Aiden Simpson finds Terry Riley in the corner. He drops home the long ball. And then moments later, it's the Perry defense coming alive. Ryan Yanks poking the ball free and here comes liftoff slamming it home on the other end Commodores are down just one but now it comes back our way Smith to Tyler King in transition Spencerville wins 50 to 43 the late game in Wapakoneta is an all Mac affair Marion local and St. Henry split a pair of games in the regular season third quarter Bennett Gells pulling up and knocking down from 15 feet the Redskins are down just one but then the Flyers get running Jaden Mesher gives to Peyton Adi who spins and wins it's 33 20 24 Marion Local. Final seconds of the quarter. Brady Ronnebaum to Mesher from half court to beat the buzzer. Are you kidding me? Marion leads 40 to 30 after three. Fourth quarter, Seth Heitkamp trying to keep the skins in it, hooping the harm, but Marion Local's too tough. Jack Kanapke out muscling everyone. The sophomore leads all scores with 23, and Marion Local wins 56 43. They'll play Spencerville for a district title on Friday at 7 back at Wapak. At the Elida Fieldhouse tonight, Crestview and Audeville square off in the first district semi. First quarter, Will Miller steps back behind the arc and lets the three ball fly. That falls through for an early three-point lead, but Crestview goes on a run. Ronte Jackson spins on his way to the 10 and lays it in. It's a four-point Knights advantage, and now Mitch Temple gives to Ren Sheets down low. The freshman gives Crestview an eight-point lead. Audeville needs a timeout. Out of the stoppage, no one's within 10 feet of Kellen Schlagbaum, so he pours the three-pointer through the cylinder. The Green are back within five, and then Michael Turnwald dishes to Carter Schnitke in the corner. Ottaville wins 60-50. to 50. The nightcap at the Fieldhouse sees PCL foes Columbus Grove and Kaleida meet again after a two-point overtime victory by the Wildcats back in January. First quarter, Tyson Seifker to Grant Force. The senior drains the long ball. The Cats have a one-point lead. Other end, Trey Sauter kicks out to Bo Burnesser, who makes sweet string music of his own. That ties the game at 11s, but Kaleida has an immediate answer. Drew first to Seifker. Silky smooth from deep. It's 20 or 14 to 11 Kaleida. Second quarter, Sauter splitting the Wildcat defenders and laying it in. The Bulldogs are down just one, and then they go to Braden Bellman in the post. Columbus Grove wins 50 to 42. They'll play Ottaville on Friday at 7 back in Elida. There are a pair of district championship games at the University of Dayton tonight. Defending state champ Botkins meets Ripley Union Lewis Huntington. Third quarter, Jamison Meyer gives to Jacob Plyman in close. A game high 20 points for Plyman. Botkins leads 39 to 14. Then it's Carter Plyman finding Jaden Wendell, who knocks down the three ball from well behind the college arc. Wendell finishes with 20 as well. The Trojans lead grows to 29. Here Jamison Meyer shows his ability from deep. Bakkins is cruising up 56-27 and now Carter Plyman works his way to the basket. Trojans roll 73-39. The late game at UD Arena sees Jackson Center square off with Springfield Catholic Central. Second quarter Noah Fark bounces to Carson Regula who lays it in. The Tigers trail by just three and then it's Camden Reese ahead to Regula who goes off glass. A team high 16 for Regula. It's a one point ball game. Now it's Fark spinning and hitting the short J. He chips in a dozen for JC, but the Tigers are down 24 19. Third quarter running and Regula goes all the way to the hoop, but Jackson Center falls 47 36. Central Catholic will play Botkins next Tuesday at 8 at Trent Arena in Kettering.